Ohio is five months out from a total solar eclipse, and most of these happen somewhere out in the open ocean, but when they do happen on land, like the one back in 2017, they draw millions of spectators from across the globe. Everybody's got to catch a view, right? Ohio officials tell us they've been planning for this moment for years. CINTV's Colin Dorsey joins us with the inside look at those preparations. It wasn't until I saw it for the first time where I was like, oh, I see why people travel all over the planet for this. It was the event of 2017 for parts of the country, a total solar eclipse. 21 million people flocked into the path of totality. Traffic backed up in cities, rural areas jammed full of spectators from around the world, and total eclipse of the heart went to the top of the charts. April 8th of 2024, we're going to have the sky go dark. Parts of Ohio will be in that path of totality, drawing spectators to rural parts of the state to experience the phenomenon. This is the one time in our lifetime we'll be able to see this. You won't have to travel far outside of Columbus to see at least part of the show. In Dublin, you'll experience more than a minute of the total solar eclipse. Then just 50 miles north, Marion County will plunge into total darkness for several minutes as the moon moves in front of the sun. It takes a lot of work and a lot of effort to make things happen in a way that seems seamless. The behind the scenes eclipse preparations have been underway in Marion County for years. Sarah McNamee is the county's EMA director. She says the city of Marion is one of the more populous areas along the path of full totality. That means a lot of planning for hotel accommodations, food and gas availability, traffic and public safety. It means coordinating with not just our own county level of government, but also the state. Um, because they're coordinating all 88 counties and 33 of us, I believe, are in the path of totality. So it's a lot. Part of that coordination has involved the people who really know about this eclipse, like OSU's planetarium director, Wayne Schlingman. We started planning about four years ago and created a task force of people, just interested parties throughout um, Ohio. He traveled to Montana for that 2017 eclipse and brought back some learned lessons. It might take you eight or nine hours by the time people are leaving. So get there the day before or earlier. Don't plan on being back the same day. Get your eclipse glasses now, like put in your orders, get whatever glasses you want now because the last time we all ran out. If you're traveling though from outside of the area, you have to consider that everyone is going to try and leave as soon as that eclipse is over and chances are good, they're all going to take the same paths. State officials say that influx of traffic to the north could impact drivers in Columbus, so make sure to plan ahead for the school and workday commutes. If you're traveling into the path of totality, make sure to bring some extra snacks and water. Get plenty of gas in case you're stuck in traffic. Bring all that planning with you, so that way it is an excellent experience. Colin Dorsey, 10 TV News. You heard it there. Officials say it's time now for you to start planning for the eclipse. The state has put together a website with everything you need to know. You can find all those details at eclipse.ohio.gov.